Hey, go a slapper. YouTube, what's up? Welcome back, you guys. Let's tune in, man. I'm going to teach y'all how to do a ball fade. All right, you guys. So the right side of my client's head is already faded. I did that off camera. So now I'm going to show you guys how to fade the left side of my client's head. Right here, I'm going in with my Babyliss Gold FX trimmer. And we're creating our bald line. I want to say that this is one of the most important steps of the haircut because this is your start of the haircut if you start sloppy it's going to come out sloppy so you want to make sure this is neat this is basically your blueprint of how your blend is going to come out so my client he's going to cut his beard off um, i like to just get this out the way while i'm balding him out before i start to fade this also just cuts time down as well Next step with my rose gold Babyliss Clipper using the number one guard and we have the lever all the way open. We're going about an inch and a half all the way around my client's head y'all. Uh, combing the hair in place every other stroke. As I go along make sure that hair is combed back into place. We're going to follow this with the lever open. With the lever open, we're going to repeat the same process as we did with the number one guard and the lever open, but we're just going to cover half of what we covered in the previous step. As you guys can see also, a key to keeping a good consistent blend all the way around someone's head. You want to keep going over those guidelines, making sure that everything is cut evenly and that you're not missing anything. Making sure your lever is at the same notch as you go along all the way around the whole head. Alright YouTube, so after you set the guideline into place, you're going to begin to fade it out. So, as you can see, I'm going to gradually work my way down, notch by notch, on the clipper, um, on the lever, which is on the side of the clipper, the, the trigger that's on the side of the clipper. So, as I'm gradually working my way down on the notches, I'm going to work my way lower on the blend than where I was at on the previous notch. And as I work my way lower, you're going to see that line disappear and fade into my client's skin. I just want to give you guys a little bit of advice on your on my wrist motion while I'm fading as well. Uh, so it may look like I'm using the tip of my blade as I'm fading my client's skin, but uh, I'm stretching my client's skin down with my left hand 
and I'm just letting the clipper do its job. I'm just letting the heel of the blade glide across. Billy D. And I just got cut off by my own damn name tag. But man, anyway, um, yeah, I was just letting the blade do its job and letting the blade just glide across my client's head. I'm not forcing anything. So we're gonna repeat the same process again. We have the number one guard with the lever open. We're just staying consistent, making sure everything is cut evenly all the way around. And we're gonna gradually close that lever. As we do that, we're gonna work our way down on that blend until the hair blends into the last guideline. Man, if you guys ever are curious about anything or have any questions, uh, some of y'all do this already and I appreciate you, those who do watch, but feel free to ask anything in the comment section, man. If you got any questions on how I fade or just anything, man, let me know in the comment section. Finally, following that, we're using the half guard, and we're gonna repeat the same process, starting with the lever all the way open, and we're gonna gradually close it notch by notch. And as we gradually close that lever notch by notch, we're gonna work our way lower on that blend than where we previously were, until that line gradually disappears. With my left hand, we're gonna stretch that skin out, make sure that line gets out without putting any extra lines in the fade. If so, we're going to come behind that and do some detail work as we usually do. my 1.5 guard and the lever open, we're going to gradually knock off some of the excess hair that's on the thicker areas of the blend. I want to apologize too man as I get toward the back of my client's head. I didn't realize his head was almost out of the shot but um, I try my best to get the majority of the fade in there so you guys can still learn how to do it. With my number one guard and the lever open, I'm barely using the corner and the heel of my blade, and we're just knocking off some of those dark spots that are in the thicker areas of the blend. Just touching that up so that we can make this blend smooth so that we can finish off this haircut.
something about that clipper over comb technique it can work wonders for you man and as far as cutting time down and just getting that blend to the next level so I'm just sticking the comb into my client's head lifting it off his head on a 45 degree angle and whatever hair is sticking out of that comb that's the hair that I'm gonna cut off and it's allowing me to just get this blend that much better Now we're just coming behind our clipper over comb work with the 1.5 guard. Just so we can finalize this blend, we're just gonna polish up what we've already done and just make sure we didn't miss anything. All right, you guys, so before I get into my client's lineup, I like to comb it down a little bit and just take it down a notch. My client also wanted his eyebrows trimmed down a little bit, uh, but yeah, same way you prepare for a haircut, you also want to just prepare for that lineup, but I'm just trimming his eyebrows down with the number one guard, I got the lever open, combing his eyebrows back into place, then we're going to come behind his lineup with some hairspray so that we can lock it in and get ready to lay him down with the crispy lineup. Okay, YouTube, as you guys can see, my liners are hitting. Uh, just want to give you a tip, man, to have a symmetrical lineup. As you can see what I did on this side, I started from the corner of his lineup, and I connected the dots. Really deep. Man, how many times this thing going to cut me off? But y'all got my point before it cut me off, though. Uh, just basically, yeah, that's a key, to, a, good, a good trick to having a symmetrical lineup. Or just having a real straight line you want to connect the dots start somewhere else and then pick it up where you left off at the other end and just connect it you'll more likely come off with a symmetrical and straight lineup that way as you can see my boy is crispy and I'm getting him clean and fresh up out of that chair he about to get out of that chair
comment section I've been asked what type of color enhancements I use. This is L'Oreal Color Spray. You can get this at your local Walmart, Target, or any type of local grocery store. I suggest less is more though, don't go overboard with it. Putting in that finishing touch with the straight razor, using my left hand to stretch my client's skin back, allowing me to glide that blade smoothly across his skin without nicking him. And I'm keeping the blade almost at a flat surface on my client's skin as well. YouTube, what's up? What's up, YouTube? This is The Cut. Fresh feeling like a million bucks. Give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. You can find your boy Billy D the Barber on Instagram at Billy D the Barber. TikTok, Billy D the Barber Official. And it's your boy, Billy D the Barber, with that fresh barber game.